Maldivian Mantare project was formed in 2005 and has led to the formation of global manta conservation project known as the Manta Trust in 2011. Our goal is sustainable future for the oceans where mantares and their relatives thrive in healthy, diverse marine ecosystems through research, education and collaboration. All rays and sharks included in mantares are cartilaginous fish. This means their skeleton is made of cartilage rather than the hard bone like humans. There are currently two known species of mantares in the world. One is the reef mantare which are commonly seen in and around the atolls of the Maldives. The second species is oceanic mantare which can also be found in the Maldives but are far more rare. The reef mantares can grow up to 4 meters in width with high residency while oceanic mantas can grow nearly twice the size of reef mantare up to 7 meters and seem to be more transient in the Maldives. Even with huge size of these gentle giants, they still feed on tiniest creature in the sea, the zooplankton. The mantares are filter feeders that use their specially adapted gills to filter out the planktons from the water while swimming with their mouth open through the water column. In recent years, traditional Asian medicine has capitalized on marketing of mantare gill plates for fake treatments for illness. Their messaging suggests that consuming mobular gill plates can help filter out the toxins from your body the same way they filter out the plankton in the water. The claimed healing power of the gill plates has not been backed up by science. In fact, gill plates have been proven to have high heavy metal contents that cause health issues if consumed in large quantities. Due to the illegal international trade, the value of mantare gill plates is far higher than that of the male. And it is this international trade that is driving these animals to be killed in worrying numbers. Luckily, mantas were never commercially fished in the Maldives. Nevertheless, mantares in the Maldives do still face some threats. Mantares can get entangled in fishing lines, discarded ghost nets, even boat mooring lines. Any sublethal injuries can impact the mantare's ability to swim, feed and reproduce and in some cases entanglement can be fatal. Additionally, unsustainable tourism through overcrowding of dive sites and harassing mantares can impact their natural behavior. As tourism increases in the Maldives, there is a worry that this negative impact will increase. Another important threat to mantares and every living thing on the face of this planet is the climate breakdown. With the changes in the temperature and currents in the sea, the manta cleaning stations are being killed while the abundance and distribution of planktonic food is decreasing and shifting. Mantares have conservative life history traits. This means they are late to reach sexual maturity, reproduce infrequently and only have one pup at a time. All these traits means that populations of mantares tend to be small and any negative impact from human threats can lead to their population size decreasing. Today, Reef manta rays are considered vulnerable and oceanic manta rays endangered with extinction. Thanks to the countrywide protection of all the species of sharks and rays in the Maldives, we have the biggest aggregation of feeding manta rays anywhere in the world, totaling more than 200 individuals at the same time at the same place. This enormous aggregation of manta rays attracts divers, snorkelers, and filmmakers from around the world. Every mantare has a unique spot pattern on their ventral side that the manta researchers use to identify the individuals. The Maldivian Mantare project has been researching the manta population in the Maldives since 2005 and have identified over 5,000 reef mantares and 800 oceanic mantas around the Maldives making it the biggest documented population of mantares anywhere in the world. In addition to monitoring the population, our team are also looking into the growth rates of mantares using stereo video photogemetry, pregnancies and fecundity using a contactless ultrasound scanner. 
In Bioto, we have also piloted a plankton research project to learn more about the food that these gentle giants are gathering to feed on. Alongside the research activities, the Maldivian Mantare project has strong focus on education, whether it is educating the resort guests and tourists or local Maldivians. We believe that rising awareness and creating interest in Mantares is vital for their protection. Since 2015, we have expanded our Mood Madursa Ocean School program, which we run with local schools. The program covers six modules including marine ecology, coral reefs, marine megafauna, seagrass, waste management, and ecosystem conservation and mangroves, and has a heavy focus on field trips and practical learning. The Maldivian Mantare project has grown from strength to strength over the last decade and a half and we have uncovered a lot about these mysterious animals. However, there is still a lot to learn about these mantas in the Maldives, knowledge which can help protect them here in Maldives and across the world.